Veganism was back on mainstream TV yet again, of course, as usual, they're trying to denounce it. Have they got some new, really clever reasons as to why we shouldn't stop murdering animals for a taste sensation? What do you think? Busy vegans don't eat those foods, do they? What they eat is the kind of instant soya burger and they're eating just bowls of pasta and, you know, hummus sandwiches, none of which is all that nutritious. Oh dear. Tasted vegetable protein, which is what most of these products are made from, is extremely healthy. It's basically whole soybeans that have had the oil extracted and you're left with everything else. The fiber, the water soluble vitamins, the minerals. Are you mental? If you make pasta from whole grains, that's extremely health promoting. Just don't ruin it with the white sauce made from animal secretions. And hummus, are you kidding me? Chickpeas, spices, garlic, lemon. Vegan bacon, I was just in the local m and the other day and yeah. uh, the first ingredient is water, the second ingredient is sunflower oil. Yeah, well no one's claiming it's a health food but at least it won't give you cancer and heart disease like actual bacon will. Ingredients, dead flesh and other carcinogens. Is it not true that the human body, and I've read a lot of reports on it, needs protein? What a stupid question. Yeah. And protein comes from meat. Nope, protein comes from plants. It's in meat because the animals ate the protein from the plants. Or they ate an animal that ate the protein from the plants. Children know this stuff. And if you deny a human body that protein, strange things happen to the human body. A strange thing happened to my body eating plant protein. Look at me and look at you. Veganism, I've got a lot of respect for people who want to be vegans, who want to eat that way. Wait a minute, veganism? If you're going to try and talk shit on a topic, perhaps you should know how to pronounce it. But I do think that, you know, there is a almost a kind of, you know, bullying type aspect to you must become a vegan to be a good people. I better not pull him up on any of that drivel or he'll accuse me of bullying him. Mate, you are not the victim here. Switch places with any farmed animal in a slaughterhouse. Now he's being bullied. But I do think that you are denying your body protein, which is absolutely necessary to the human form. Yeah. Well, I'm a PT and nutritionist, and I think that you're not denying yourself adipose tissue and the saturated fat and cholesterol that end up killing most of us. What do you mean you say that veganism has lost its way in the sense now it's just become more of a fad and it's just cool to say, I'm a vegan, where people are not actually looking at, you know, the health benefits anymore? I would say that the actual problem is that you don't understand what veganism is. It's a philosophy and way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals. That's it. Nothing to do with trends, far more than just a diet. It just means not purposefully exploiting and killing animals. What is your problem with that? Why are you not for that? Everyone's just jumping on this train of being a vegan. Like, to be honest, I think, wouldn't it be better to be a vegetarian? Well, if you still want animals to suffer and die and don't give a about your health i suppose it's a great idea now you people are talking about all these ultra processed foods fake burgers fake bacon mm. which is not good for our health so wouldn't it be better just to be a vegetarian of course not it would be better to eat whole plant foods and by the way the vast majority of ultra processed foods are eaten by non-vegans and are we losing our way when it comes to veganism? You never even found your way. What are you doing here? Why are you even offering an opinion? We've been eating a mixture of vegetables and meat. For Since so cavemen. We were right for, for thousands of years. Yeah. And we've evolved quite strongly in that department, wouldn't yeah. you say? Considering that heart disease is our leading cause of death, obviously no. Do you ever try to use your brain? Supposing the argument was the other way around, and I said to you, look, I think you should be a vegetarian, but eat false vegetables, not real vegetables. Do you see what I mean? Uh, sorry, did you mean to say a vegetarian or a vegan? Because you want us to eat false meat, not real meat. I don't want you to eat anything. I just want you to not eat beans. I would have thought this is obvious. Why are you putting words in my mouth and what is your need to make such convoluted arguments? Can it be that you know that you've got no real argument for not funding animal abuse? So if I said to you, look, here's a cabbage, but it's a false cabbage. How would you feel about that if I was finding a way to produce a false cabbage, not a real cabbage? Well, of course, if it was more ethical and healthier, I'd be all for it. What do you think I am, stupid? If you want to optimise your health, body shape or sports performance without unnecessarily harming animals, then go to henshubbervore.com where we offer online coaching, meal plans and consultations. See you in the next video.